Everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. So is coding dead? Did we actually waste our time grinding the code, spending hours on it, just to get replaced by AI? Well, hold on. It's not like AI made everyone a master programmer or something like that. It's just that everyone now has access to a coding assistant which can do their work for them. Kind of like asking your computer science friend to just build an application for you when you have this amazing startup idea. And the best part about this is that when that sudden 3 a.m. motivation kicks in, you can sit around a table and look at all your laptops and pretend like you actually have friends. There's a huge misconception right now that software engineering is just about writing code. But if you've actually worked on a project, you know it's just a small portion of the pie. This. This is what juniors think that coding is. And this is the power of a senior engineer. And this is what the real engineers care about. AI can generate code, but can it generate an application that you can scale to millions of users, handle different edge cases, security, performance, testing, while maintaining a good structure? Probably not. AI isn't there yet. And until it is, companies still need engineers to actually build out these applications, keep them up to date, and keep the place running. But now there's a new term that's been floating around social media. It's called vibe coding. If you haven't heard of it, vibe coding is sitting down and letting the AI do all the work while you chill and act like a tech CEO. At first, it sounds insane, but if you've ever used ChatGPT, Claude or Gemini, you know how powerful these models actually are. Just imagine telling an AI model, I need a Flask API that uses a PostgreSQL database and authenticates users using JWTs. And it just spits out the answer. Boom, just like that. Would you trust it? But does that mean that coding is actually dead? Or is it evolving into something a little bit lazier? Just think about it. When calculators were invented, everyone thought that this would be the new technology that replaced mathematicians completely. But look, many years later, mathematicians are still around, problems became harder, and we still needed people to actually create these systems as well. AI won't be able to replace developers, but it will replace developers that are unable to adapt to AI. Adding AI to your workflow could make things a lot faster if you can do it in the right way. AI won't fully replace programmers, but it'll cause programmers to have to rely on AI more if they want to be more efficient. This means that the future of coding will focus a lot more on the problem solving side than just the coding side. You can think about it like this. Calculators didn't kill math and AI won't kill programming. It'll just have to adapt in a different way to make it all work. This means that if you can think like an engineer, you'll never be out of a job and you'll always be ahead. You can do that with today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Brilliant helps you develop critical thinking skills through problem solving rather than just memorization. While using Brilliant, you're not just building knowledge on specific topics, but also becoming a more sophisticated and analytical thinker. Daily learning is crucial for growth. Brilliant helps you get smarter quickly, turning short moments into real learning instead of mindlessly scrolling on social media. So by investing a few minutes every day, you'll create new habits that will develop skills which will help you for the rest of your life. Brilliant's Thinking in Code course transforms how you approach problem solving through programming. More than just learning Python, you'll develop the critical thinking skills programmers use daily. Interactive lessons break down complex coding concepts, teaching you to deconstruct challenges systematically. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Henry or scan the QR code on screen, or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. This has been Sajar, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.